Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gaba USA. In this video, I'll teach you how to check your USB port, if it is connected properly or not, or if you're going to use many devices to connect to your computer in order to charge them and you don't want to overload your circuit of your motherboard. If that is your case, you may ruin your notebook or computer or even the small jump drive if you have one of those and you are not connected properly like I'm going to teach you right now. Here, as you can see, I have a little device that has a li two little displays, one for the amps and another for the voltage. And in this side, you can connect any device that you want to charge and then that way you can know how much it consumes. So that is, is a good thing. Uh, here in the whiteboard, I have the pinout. So the USB, just in case if you don't know, usually use four cables, four little cables. One, you have the voltage, the positive, and then the, that is the port number one, and then the two and three is the data, and the port number four is the ground. So it's positive and negative, positive and negative, just in case. Uh, I use this color because the cable, the red one, is for the positive, and then you have the white one. I, I don't have a, a white, uh, market and the whiteboard is white so of course I'm, I cannot use something like that but you know uh, this is uh, white so the this for the data and then for the other cable of the data it will be green and the number four will be black so that is very easy so that way you know how to connect it because some uh, computer cases they have the different cables and you have to connect them individually in each uh, pin and other computer cases they are great because they have the whole port i mean the whole plug then you can connect it directly and you don't have to be sorting the the cables to know which one is the the order so you won't mess it up so if you have any case like that with this device you will know if the port is connected well or not. Sometimes I, I went to a customer and someone else built the computer, I plug in my jump drive and then I'll burn it out. So that is one issue. If you have this, you plug it in. If you don't see anything on the display, it means that it's not connected properly or it's not connected at all. And if you see the, the voltage and everything else, it seems that everything is okay. So that way you can do, you can measure both things. One, if it's good, uh, everything is good connected or another if you have to connect many things or maybe you are going to connect something that is a, has some kind of short circuit and it may ruin your USB port so with this you can save your device from any bad connection or any problem so if you know the motherboard is connected it has this kind of pin it usually has four in one side and has five six I mean five in the other side it's four in this side five in this side so here you will use the red like you see here and then the number two, number three, and number four. And usually here is the same thing. One, two, three, four. Sometimes there are some USB cables that have like two grounds, so you will use both. But like I said before, usually when the computer case has the plug, one of those dots are blocked, so you cannot connect it otherwise or backwards, so you won't ruin anything. But in case, like I said before, if you have just the different cables and you don't know how it goes, here is the pinout that is how you connect it. And if you want to know if you did a good job, use something like that. So now we are going to see the practice. So you can see I'm going to connect a few things. So you can see the consume, the electricity that you use, maybe an iPhone, an iPad, and other things. And we are going to try with a computer that is well connected and in another port that is not well connected. So you can see how it works. Here, as we can see, we have a used computer that we are going to use in this video to make a test. So here we have the device that I showed you before. We have the in and we have the out. And this will be it, the in and we have two out just to make sure. And we are going to use the front of this computer. So we are going to use the lowest one. One of them is not connected properly. I'm going to turn on the computer. And as we can see, okay, we hear just the noise that is just boot up and we don't see any um, display. I mean, we don't see any voltage or amperage. Well, we don't see any voltage or amp. So that means that it's not connected properly. Just to make uh, this video, I connected 
in the wrong way and now we are going to use the other connector the one on the top and as we can see here we have the voltage that is 5.02 and now we are going to use this iPad that I have here uh, we have this cable so when we connect this iPad you will see that is consuming something in this case is 0.02 as I can show you right now and I'm going to try to connect this Mofi case so is to connect my iPhone here and you will see now we have dot zero we have zero dot 33 amps so now this device is charging as well as my iPad so that way you can know if the port is well connected or not and how much you are pulling from this port remember that you can if you are connecting too many things on one port you can burn the circuit uh, overall I mean surely usually happen on notebooks and if it's low quality you will see that also it may happen on some poor computers or it depends on what you want to connect there are many accessories out there that will pull more energy than your port can really tolerate so that is what we're going to use it for so now I'm going to show you here how everything is connected I will make a zoom as you can see this is the right port we are using red white green and then black in the other one I just invert the position and you can see is white red black and green so that is why one of them doesn't work and the other just works just fine to do this kind of test so i hope you have found this video helpful remember to click and like if you like it don't click and don't like it if you don't like it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and see you next time